Whether you have a Bluetooth keyboard or the iPad Pro Smart Connector or you don't have it at all, some of these tips are relevant to everybody. So let's begin. So these are my top iOS 11 tips and tricks for the iPad. I have a list here, all of them will be linked down below. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Let's say you have a bunch of apps open. I only have the Word document open, but let's say there are a bunch of apps open. So what you would do on Windows computers, you'd press the Control or the Alt Tab button, and it would literally just open up a tab view, almost like that. So what you do on Apple is you press Command Tab. This bar opens up, and what it does is it allows you to browse your recently viewed apps you can click on the one you want it'll go right to the home screen and you can always go back to the word document now the second thing I have is press the command shift shift 3 button to take a screenshot so you do it it takes a screenshot shows it in the corner you can do multiple screenshots if you want and you can even click on the screenshots then as you probably already know whoops and you can just delete them all now the next thing you can do is after, let's say you've taken a couple screenshots already, you can press control or you just want them to take one. Control shift four takes a screenshot and it brings it all the way over here to whatever the last one is and you can edit it now. It automatically brings up the editing thing. So I'm going to click delete. I will press command shift. As you can see right now, I'm, already, I'm on my word document, command shift four. should have automatically brought up the screenshot button or that and now it's automatically able to be edited you can click done you can delete it you can do all the stuff you need so now if you want to you can press the command shift 3 button to take a screenshot again or you can just use the default option which is the power button and the home button and if you tap and hold on the screenshot it will bring up that option list where you can easily save the files you can do all that stuff you can send it with slack or the whatnot. Now, the next thing is, let's say you have a screenshot and you want to automatically open it up. You can drag it and drop it into any app once it's, an app is opened. So you can swipe it away. You can do what you want. And then you can easily also do it with more than one screenshot. So right now, I took one screenshot. I can tap and hold on it, drag it around. I can drop it into any app I want to. So what I'm going to do is literally you can just move it around. So I'm going to click on that app. And as you can see, it probably already have some, um, you can literally just do whatever you want. So you can add it right here. Let's say you want multiple screenshots. So right now I have two screenshots that says the plus two right over here. You can literally add those two. Now those ones are added, you can delete it if you want to. Now, once that is actually done, that you can do it that way, you can do two of them. Now, um, now the next thing that you can actually do is you can tap and hold on a screenshot the same way we did it and hover over an app. So you can do it more than one screenshot if you want to. So you tap and hold on the screenshot, you drag it around. I'm not clicking on anything, I'm just hovering it over the notes app. I can add it to this if I want to, or I can start a new No, but I'm not going to. Now I'm gonna, you can swipe it away. That's that. So So have you noticed that on the dock there are apps you just open and clear from the multitasking menu? But, they're not going away, so literally right now it's GarageBand, Twitter, and my notes. Clicking X, 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 the only thing I have open is Microsoft Word, which is over here, so it's not doing it. So if you look, I can do this, I can do this, those apps didn't go away. So, what you need to do is tap and hold on them. I don't want GarageBand open. Problem right now. X, so you can tap and hold. 
hold on them till the X comes up on the side of the corner a bit. And then once it happens, you can click it. You can do deleting this app will no longer will also delete stay to remove the gap from the dock will not delete this, so you click remove from dock. And it should remove it from the dock. Which it didn't do, so you exit. You can click remove from dock. You can click remove from dock. And you can remove the notes from dock too. So you exit out, you click remove from dock. You exit out, you click remove from dock, which this one isn't doing. But, let's say you didn't even want that up there. Now, this is my next trick. Now, you can easily turn you can easily to multitask by having like three apps open at the same time. So let's say I wanted my music open too. You can literally go like this. But let's say while I'm doing that, I want to browse the some part of the web. So you can have three apps open at the same time. You can literally do that. But one of them just closes. And as you know, it automatically saves it to word music opened at the same time. And then once you swipe it away, it'll become its own object. But, let's say over here you have a persistent app that's not closing out correctly from the, from the dock, and you don't want it up on the, uh, on the multitask part of it. So you literally can't just clear it away, so you have to use other means of clearing it away. So if you tap and hold on an app, and that X pops up, you click remove from dock, but it's not removing. Literally, you just go to Settings, General, Accessibility, Multitask, then select Recent Apps. So you go to Settings, General, Multitasking, Show Recent Apps. Now that, now that GarageBand's gone, and I can open up as many apps as I want without it showing up. Now, let's say you don't have screen recording on here. So I already have a screen recording right over here. Well, let's say you didn't have it. You need to go to the settings, control center, customize controls, and on the bottom here, there will be an option to add the screen recording, which I have already added, so you can, I'm just gonna go like this, remove, and you can just press the plus button, you can drag it to where you want it to go, and then you can just do it, and it should appear right over here, someplace over there. So those are my 10, tips for iOS 11 beta 2 right now at least and they probably stay the same or more so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up um also down below in the is my social media twitter and instagram if you want to follow me there because i post almost daily i post fire pictures on instagram lit pictures uh, and also if you are new please make sure to hit that subscribe button because it's fun and hit the bell because i post videos all the time and I just want you to be notified when I do post those videos, and I go live a lot. Also, with that being said, please just enjoy the rest of your day.